On. Okay, so we are moving on to chapter seven. I'm assuming you've gotten this into your notes. Let's have a little bit of light, please. You make my job really unenjoyable. So you guys just sit there and act like depressed kittens. Okay? What was that? 12 hours of sleep in That's one week. Terrible. What? How is that even possible? That's like one and a half hour a day. Who is that? You're not dead. Interest can be alive. I mean, I don't mean that in a mean way, but like one and a half hours of sleep a night? You're doing great. You're doing great? Um, nap, nap time! Yes, please! No. Nap. Ah. Nap time. Chapter 7. This is the simple ma machine chapter. How are we coming on our uh, bank drop project? I haven't started. I haven't started. You're I started. behind. I started. I started. You don't know where to start? Here's the best thing, my best advice for you. If you don't know where to start, start. Whoa! What I mean by that is, just throw an egg at something random and drop it. Just your first project doesn't have to work. Just it gets your juices flowing and just do something. Okay, because if you just are paralyzed and don't do anything, you'll be paralyzed for a while. Grab a poly pocket, smash an egg, and then drop it. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's like a, it's like a little. My grandma used to. Or how about you just grab a styrofoam cup, drop, put a, put a egg in, and drop it. It probably will crack, but it'll at least get your juices flowing a little bit. Yes. What? Raise your hand. Okay. So we have talked about the word work before. Where did you hear work? Okay, energy is the ability to do work. Do work. So work and energy are very similar. We have a new variable. Symbol W. And the most common unit Joule. is a jewel as well. change usually looks like and what things are required for us to have work. We talked about it a little bit last chapter, but we're going to obviously spend more time talking about it this chapter because this is the work chapter. So, it's a scalar quantity. What does that mean? Come on. Magnitude, but no direction. Okay, it's typical. Uh, unit is a joule, and its symbol is a W, and that's what you should put in the back of your book if you haven't done it already. We're getting to kind of a lot of variables here. Do you see why this semester has been a, probably a more difficult semester than first semester? And it, you may have noticed it in your grade a little bit. Okay means we should probably spend a little bit more time and get more help if we need it. There are three things, and we did talk about this, 
three things that must occur for work to happen. And I gave you an example last chapter about when work doesn't happen, what that looks like. Probably could summarize this into two things. Um, but I, I broke it down into three. Because technically, three kind of engulfs one a little bit. Do you, you understand what I mean when I say that? In order for work to happen, it must have a force. But just having a force isn't good enough. The object must move. But you could have a force and an object moving and still not have work. The third one is the key kicker here. Jack session. 
jumping jack session? I said it's better than doing. Oh. Or the Mr. Kramer mimic bowling statue. Most of you haven't gotten very far in geometry or dot geometry at all. Okay? Cosine of the angle tells us whether or not that force is straight with it or is it perpendicular or is it at an angle? Because does anybody know who is in physical or in geometry what cosine of 90 is? Zero. Zero. So if I have a 90 degree angle, between my force and my movement. Cosine of 90 is zero. 90 times D and F is zero. So, when you have a force perpendicular to the movement, what is your work? Zero. Okay? But we're gonna say that all of the forces that we're doing at this point in the math will always be in the direction of motion, and so let's do it here. Okay, get your calculadoras out, ready to go. You should never come to my class without your calculator. Work is force times distance. Be a 
haven't you guys solved? What'd you guys get? 681 ish? 611? Yeah, boy, Robert. Yes. 611? Yes. I got the wrong number. All right. 611 what? Joule. Joule. 611 joules of work. So that's how much energy was was used to cause this object to move this distance. Work 
over town. We got a car driving to school. Okay, what is that first variable? Work. Okay, and what's my next variable? Time. And what are we solving for? Power. Plug your work in, divide it by your time, get your power. Go. What's the power? Got an answer, Johnny? Solve. What's the unit for it? What? Everybody, what's the unit for it? What? 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 You're not saying correctly. Hey. What? Guys, you guys are so full of not life. Full of death. We made a ton of egg puns. What? We made a ton of egg puns in the house. Uh, egg puns? Or as they say, a dozen of eggies. Uh -huh. Alright. You should have gotten approximately what? 36.6. 36.6-ish? We won't go any more than two sixes, okay? <laughs> okay, I want to show you this one. You do not have to write this in. I just want you to watch for your enjoyment. I'm so happy. Thank you. Everyone needs to know that. You weigh. Ooh! This is a tricky one. Let's do it together. Uh, you weigh 550 newtons. They gave us a force. Okay? And run to the top of the. And they gave you a distance. And they gave you a time. And they give you work or power. You just multiply 560 by 300 to get your work, and then you do the work. To get the work. Don't leave. Okay. I know my time, right? Do the work to get But they didn't give me the work. How do I solve for this? Oh, we know that work is force times distance, stop putting stuff away. Disrespectful. Okay? We have force when we have a distance, right? Can we multiply those to get our work? Can we take our work, plug it in, and divide it by our time to get our power? Yes. yes. You may leave. Yes. Oh, I'm making my day so I got up.